Hey friends, I'm back again today with some more Dollar Tree DIYs that are perfect for Christmas, so stay tuned. This is Whiskey and Wit. My name's Whitney, and on this channel, I love to share tips, tricks, and tutorials all around getting a DIY home that you love on a budget. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Wit video. A huge thank you to Love Every for partnering with me on today's video. We'll talk more about them in a little bit, but before we do, let's get into the crafts. Up first, we're gonna make this super adorable hand-painted wreath door hanger, and it starts with a Dollar Tree pizza pan. You're gonna grab one of those as well as some white flat spray paint. Take it outside and give it two light coats of the spray paint. Light coats are gonna help so you don't bubble or have it run. When that's dry, we're gonna start with the cheeks of our snowman. So I am just taking a really light coat of some red chalk paint. You could also use pink if you want. And I'm taking my finger to buff it out, kind of like you would when you put blush on. So then that way you're getting kind of that rosy cheek, but it looks like it's underneath the level of snow. So I'm just taking my finger while it's wet, kind of buffing it in, making it so none of the lines are too harsh. Then go in with an acrylic paint marker, do two circles and two little slash lines for the eyes. And then I did some circles around for the mouth. You can do as many or as big as you want. And then I'm doing the same buffing technique with some gray paint around the outside just to give it some dimension. Then we're gonna create our nose. So I started by using a paint marker to do that and then go through with some paint. The chalk paint gave it a lighter look and matched the cheeks better than coloring it in with the acrylic marker, but I needed a guideline, so that's why I did that. Then take a white paint pen, fill in the eyes, and then I added a little bit of my black marker to the nose, and while it was wet, buffed in some more of that orange paint to give it kind of a darker orange tone. I only had one color of chalk paint, so I decided to mix my own. Once it all got buffed in, you couldn't see the lines anymore like you can see here, and then I wanted to finish it off with a ribbon. I tried to tie it and it was obviously a fail because it's a round pizza pan, so I flipped it over, put some hot glue on the back, and then applied my ribbon. This I got at Old Time Pottery, but you can use whatever ribbon you have. You could also use a Dollar Tree scarf if you want to stick with Dollar Tree supplies. Then to add a hanger, I'm just doing two big dabs of hot glue, and then I'm going over the top with some more hot glue. Let that set, and then you will be golden. Once my ribbon was cool with the hot glue on the back, I went through and figured out how I wanted to tie it to kind of look like a scarf. And then I added some additional hot glue around the edge of the pan just to make sure it stayed. I dovetailed the ends of both of my ribbons and my cute little guy was ready to go. I hung him over this magnolia wreath I got at Marshalls years ago, but you could put it over the top of a Walmart wreath, even a Dollar Tree wreath, tons of different options, but this guy is super cute, and because I went neutral with the scarf, he can stay up well past Christmas. Now, if you're looking for something smaller or something more like an ornament, Crafter Square has these galvanized like bottle caps, and that was what prompted me to then do the bigger one on the pizza pan. So I took the smaller one and I made two different versions, a gingerbread and a snowman. So for the snowman, I started with white acrylic paint. I did two coats and I just carefully run around the outside with an angled brush to cover the actual inside, but not the edges. Then I did a real simple face. So two dots for the eyes and then five dots for the mouth. And then I drew a little nose, colored it in, and I'm just using my Arteza paint pens. And then instead of the jute, I decided to tie it up with some Dollar Tree Buffalo Check ribbon. You can use whatever you have on hand. Then it was ready for either a tiered tray, a vignette, or I just hung this on my tree. I absolutely love it. It's super cute. And these would also make great things for kids to do to draw on the little face. And then you could keep it as a memento, just put the year on the back. The gingerbread one I think is my favorite because I've been loving gingerbread DIYs this year. I did the color nutmeg brown and just some regular acrylic paint. Now here it looks terrible. You have to do three coats to really get it to cover, but the color is then perfect. I went through with a paint marker just in white. I got these from Amazon. I did a little squiggle border, two circles for the eyes, a little oval for the mouth, 
gave two little cheeks and some eyelashes and then I finished it off with some red paint, two circled cheeks and then I filled in the nose with some red paint. Then on another inspo picture, I saw where the little eyes had white dots and I thought that made it look even more cute. So I added that and then I just used this candy cane ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. This has been on a lot of my DIYs this year and it matches everything for my little gingerbread tree. I love this so much. I also love that it is hand painted and that I was able to do it myself. And as you saw it come together, it's something that anybody can easily paint. After I did my Christmas baking video, one of you commented and said it would be awesome if you put the little hats that you made last year on them. I've tried for the life of me to find that comment. I cannot find it. So if it was you, please comment. It was a genius idea and so I decided to do it. So as a reminder to start making the marshmallows, I use this Crayola Model Magic. I got it on Amazon. Dollar Tree has it as well, but they don't have white. They have red, blue, and yellow. So just FYI. I just took a little piece and started molding it until I got the shape of a marshmallow. And then I wanted to make sure that it was gonna fit within this toilet paper roll because that is how we're gonna make our hats. You wanna make sure here that there's a decent amount of clearance so you can put the hat onto the snowman. So once those dried, I let them dry overnight, but give them a couple hours, they'll be fine. You just want them to harden up a little bit. Then I cut a piece that was eh, a little under an inch thick for the band of the hat. And then I took my large Cricut like scraper tool and this is just a quick way to cut strips of yarn quickly. I just wrapped it around and then I cut one of the ends so that I had about six and a half to seven inch pieces. It doesn't have to be exact because you'll trim it at the end, but that's a quick way. Now this might look super tedious, but it's really easy to put together. You take your yarn piece, fold it in half so you have two equal ends and then wrap it around your little toilet paper roll. Push your ends through and then pull it through so that you kind of have a loop around your toilet paper roll. Now you wanna continue this all the way around until you have the whole thing covered. And the key here is to make sure that your loops are all facing the same way. So here you want all of your tassels either going to the left or the right, however you want it done. Once you're done, it will look like this, and then you're gonna take your pieces and push them through the center so that you hide all of those loops so it just looks like a little band on a little beanie hat. And then take another piece of yarn and tie it around the top to create a little cute little pom-pom. When everything is tied, you can go through with your scissors and trim it in kind of a circular pattern to make it look like a little pom-pom, and then also trim the edges of that little piece that you use to secure the top. So then once your hat is done, I just did a quick dry fit and they fit perfectly. That's why you wanna make sure there's enough room when you make your marshmallows so that you can fit the hat on. Then to attach them, I just added some hot glue to the hat and glued it on and then added two eyes, a mouth and a carrot nose. Now, if you don't want to make the marshmallows or you want this to be fully Dollar Tree, grab some of these cute little craft circles. They're little styrofoam balls and they're about the size of ping pong balls, but they would work perfect in lieu of the marshmallows. So all you do is make the hat the exact same way and then pop it on to one of these little styrofoam balls and you've got a cute little snowman with a more rounded face versus the marshmallow shape. Then I added the face the exact same way, so two dots for the eyes, five dots for the mouth, and then a cute little carrot nose. Both of them are super cute, and I decided to try a garland as well as ornaments. So for an ornament, just take some baker's twine, put it through the hat, and you are good to tie it up and hang it. As far as the marshmallows, I decided to string some baker's twine through the top and create a little garland, and I think it was super cute. I ended up wanting to put one on my tiered tray, and they ended up getting kind of disseminated around my house, so the garland was broken up because where I wanted to hang it, Finn would have pulled it down. So it is what it is for this stage of life, but it would be cute in a variety of different ways. Let's take a quick pause to talk about today's sponsor, Love Every. I really wanted to share them with you guys because I know so many of you are parents and grandparents and these would make an awesome gift. So if you've been around a while, you've heard me talk about Love Every before and we absolutely love their stuff. 
What we really love about them is that they're super fun toys, but as Finn's playing with them, I can really see the wheels turning, and that's because they are designed for certain developmental milestones throughout their life. They're targeted for kids from birth to four years old, and they've got standalone toys that you can buy as one-offs, or they've got subscription boxes where they come with a ton of toys. We also love that in each box, there's a little booklet that tells you what each toy is, how to play with them with your kids, and what different skills you're developing, which has been really helpful for me because because this is my first rodeo as a mom and I wanna make sure I am doing stuff for Finn to keep him stimulated and so the book helps with that. They've got a huge Black Friday sale going on right now if you're watching this when the video goes up, so be sure to head down to the description to get more information and a huge thank you to Love Every for continuing to partner with Whiskey and Wit and for making sure that Finn is always taken care of in the toy department. Now let's get back into the crafts. I was recently shopping with my best friend at a high-end boutique and saw something similar to these candlesticks and I thought I could totally make those myself with Dollar Tree items. So I started with three Dollar Tree candlesticks for this first arrangement and I took two of them with some gel super glue and glued the two skinnier ends together to make a taller candlestick. What I like about the gel super glue is it sets a lot quicker than E6000 and it doesn't have that weird smell. So I would definitely recommend it. You can get it at Dollar Tree. Then I just use this Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect spray paint that I usually use to do my foam mercury glass. And I just sprayed it to give it just some shine so that it would kind of reflect light from the Christmas lights. Then for my other one, I just spray painted it with flat white spray paint. While I was out there, I also did one in the Strawberry Fields gloss in red for the second project we'll do in this section of the video. So for the first one, I went a little bit more high end. So I took one of these two packs of styrofoam balls and I trimmed off just a little bit off the top to get a flat surface where I could add my hat. I'm using two of these Buffalo check hats I got from Dollar Tree and my taller of the two candlesticks. Remove the top of the ornament just because you won't need that hanger. And then for the first one, I put the hot glue right on the styrofoam and I would recommend putting it on the hat and then pushing the styrofoam on just because the hot glue goes right into the styrofoam. Then for this one, because it had a larger like opening at the top, I was able to just use some more of that gel super glue, stick my snowman to the top and call it done. Now, if you wanted to add a face, you absolutely could, but I decided to do this first set with the Buffalo check hat, just as no face, a little bit more modern and high end, but this next one, I'll show you how you can add a face. Also with the opening, if you use the smaller end, I suggest using hot glue because there wasn't a lot of surface area to stick to for the super glue. But I absolutely love these. I could have done both in the same color, but I like that they're not super matchy matchy, but they look like they go together with the similar hats. And I also think the red berries could stay for winter time, but they would be easily removable if you wanted this to go through January. Now for the more whimsy and fun one, I decided to make a larger hat like I made earlier in the video, but I made it with some longer pieces of yarn and a cap from a mason jar. So same thing, I flipped it through, tied the top, and then I just added some hot glue to my hat and put my styrofoam ball in there. I didn't have to trim that one, um, so I just used the full ball, and then I added some hot glue to my little red candlestick and stuck on my snowman head. Then I tied on some of my candy cane ribbon to match my kind of gingerbread theme in my dining room. This is wired from Hobby Lobby. It functioned both to cover up the glue that hooked the two pieces together, but then also kind of act as a bow tie scarf combination. I dovetailed the ends, used the wire to kind of puff it up. And then the last thing to do was to put a cute little face on. So I did dots for the eyes, dots for the mouth, and then I drew on a carrot, just like I've been doing with all my snowmen this season. And once that guy was done, look how cute it is. This is definitely on the other end of the spectrum than the first set, but this one's gonna look great in my gingerbread themed dining room. So that's where he is gonna live. In one of my last videos, I did a Dollar Tree wreath with some ice skates on it. And so many of you said that you wanted to see more skating DIYs. So here, this one's for you. I'm starting with two tag shaped signs from Dollar Tree. These are from a couple years ago. They were just in my stash and I wanted to use them, but Dollar Tree has similar shaped signs this year. So it might not be the exact sign, but you can get something close. 
I'm starting by taking off the tags and the glitter on the front. You can just peel it off pretty easily. And then I'm painting one white and one black. My black one obviously is gonna be the front sign for the chalkboard and the white we're gonna add some buffalo check to give it a little bit of oomph and texture. When your white tag is dry then we're going to do my buffalo check painting technique so you're going to take some one inch painters tape and start with a strip down the center and then use a, another little piece to kind of mark off even vertical stripes then when those are all taped off we're gonna paint it with a gray color because i am just gonna do a black and white buffalo check When I get that whole thing painted, I'm gonna let it dry, and then when it's dry, remove the painter's tape and set it aside, because you're gonna need it in the next step. Then I'm gonna repeat the exact same process, but horizontally. So tape a strip, use the little spacer piece, and continue on down. The reason I did the vertical ones first is because there's less pieces, and if you think about it, if you did the horizontal originally, you'd have to place a lot more pieces of tape back. So that's how I choose which way to go first. If you're worried about not knowing where your tape was originally, go ahead and mark on the painter's tape before you paint, just so you know where to put the tape back. Then we're taking our tape from step one and putting it back just so then that way it is all taped off where the lines overlap, you're able to add a black square. So paint over all of the open areas. You wanna do a light coat. Once I'm done painting, I get that off right away just so there's no way that it's going to kind of dry down. Now here on the MDF board, I had a little bit of issue with it peeling up, but the way that I'm gluing it down, it's not a huge deal. I glued the two pieces together and then I did my little hanging technique I did on my little snowman to add to the back. Then these embellishments are actually from Walmart, but Dollar Tree also has some skates. I just think these look so high end and they were only $1.98. I used some pliers to get rid of that greenery just so I had plain skates. And then I went through with some hot glue and some jute twine to add some kind of strings essentially, kind of like how you would see them hanging by laces. And this is gonna help them hook to the sign. Once that was done, I got this file off of designbundles.com. I will link it down below for you if you would like this particular one. I was just in a hurry this day and didn't have time to design my own files. And I've been loving design bundles options lately. So that's why I went with this. I'm using my Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape so I don't rip up that black paint, especially because the painter's tape ripped it up. And I'm just gently pushing down with my hands, not using a squeegee for this one to be super careful and then it is applied. I reused some of the greenery that came in the skates and glued it to the top of the sign to cover up the hole from the beginning. And then I just added some hot glue so that my skates wouldn't fall when they were hung up. This is a great sign for over a wreath like I have here and these skates, you would never guess, they were less than five bucks for the set. But I absolutely love these tag signs from Dollar Tree and this is another one that you can use well past Christmas. A huge thank you to you for watching and also thank you to Love Every for partnering with me on this video. All the information for their limited time Black Friday sale will be linked down below. And if you're watching this after the Black Friday sale season, no worries, you can still check out their site for more information on their play kits that we love as well as the toys. And I will link more information about what we own and what Finn loves down below. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Wet video and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye.